Hello guys, Soft Tony here and in today's tutorial we will be creating a modern breaking news intro step by step in After Effects without using any third party plugins. This short intro will add an extra quality to your videos so don't miss out on what's coming up. And before we begin please subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorials. So let's dive into the After Effects and get started with the creation. Alright, we're here in After Effects and first like always let's create a new composition, hit on this little icon, this is gonna be of course final composition, you can of course hit Ctrl or Command plus N and this is gonna be 3840 by 2160, 30 frames per second and duration 10 seconds long. Now hit OK and let's create another composition, hit again on this little icon, this is gonna be just Earth composition, also 3840 by 2160 and then hit OK. As you can see I already have this earth texture here in the project window and just to drag and drop here inside this earth composition I will leave the link of this earth texture down below in the video tutorial description just drag and drop okay and now let's go and make further adjustments now let's go right click to create solid layer this is gonna be star burst okay also 3840 by 2160 and then hit okay go here in the facts and preset and if you can find this option just go window and you will find effects and presets here. Of course, let's type here star burst effect, drag and drop onto the solid layer. And here, let's also make adjustments for this uh, scatter. Let's type here 175 for the speed type 0.02. Okay, for the phase, let's go to around 130. And for the grid spacing, leave it to 4. And for the size, let's go somewhere around 40. And as you can see, we have this tiny star burst particles here inside this earth composition also let's import fill effect type here fill drag and drop onto the solid layer and let's change color to this pure white color now hit ok i will close this effects control for now and now it's time to import this earth composition here in the final composition like so and now as you can see we have this texture here inside our final composition for the next step let's import the next effect this is gonna be cc sphere okay drag and drop onto the earth composition and let's make further adjustments for the radius instead of 200 let's type 600 for the render options instead of full change here to inside also what we can do is to play around with the shading option for the ambient instead of 10 let's type here maybe 100 and now let's also animate rotation open up this rotation option go to zero frames set up the first keyframe for Y parameter and then go all the way to around 10 seconds and let's type here 2. And now as you can see we have cool animation of our earth texture. What we can do next is to change name from earth to earth inside. Okay, now let's duplicate this earth inside once, hit Ctrl plus D or go edit and then duplicate. This is gonna be earth outside like so okay hit f3 to show effects control for the render option change from inside to outside and as you can see our earth is looking cool here in the final composition also let's add here another effect for the earth inside go here in the facts and preset and find gaussian blur effect drag and drop and let's change blurriness to around 10 percent and this is looking cool also what we can do is to duplicate this earth outside once again hit ctrl plus d this is gonna be just earth okay hit f3 again to show effects control change render option from outside to full and also for the radius instead of 600 type here 800 okay and let's go and find here simple choker effect drag and drop and for the choke mat instead of this uh, zero let's type here 1.7 and now this is looking cool i will hit ctrl plus k to change this background color maybe to black color for better viewing hit ok and also let's duplicate this earth once again hit ctrl plus d and for the radius here instead of 800 let's go and type here 1000 and now as you can see we have these uh, tiny white spots here in the final composition and this is looking awesome when we hit zero okay now for the next step let's import adjustment layer go right click to create new adjustment layer this is gonna be hue and saturation okay go here in the facts and preset find 
hue and saturation, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And here let's check this colorize option. For the colorize hue, let's go to around 140. Maybe for the saturation, type here 100. And for the lightness, maybe to go around minus 50. Okay, now we have this greenish color. And here let's create another adjustment layer. And this is gonna be glow. Okay, go here in the facts and preset, find glow effect. Okay, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And as you can see, our earth is looking cool and glowy here in the final composition. For the glow threshold, leave it to 60%. For the glow radius, instead of this 10, let's type here maybe 150. And now, as you can see, this is looking pretty much awesome here in the final composition. Okay, now it's time to select everything and to pre-compose again, hit Ctrl plus A or select everything, go right click, pre-compose, this is gonna be Earth plus Elements, make sure to move all attributes into the new composition and then hit OK. Now what we can do is to import also Triton effect here, go in the facts and preset, find Triton effect, drag and drop onto the Earth plus Elements and basically you can change midtones to whatever you want. I will go maybe to find this reddish color. Of course, you can play around with your colors. Hit OK. Now let's duplicate this new composition once. Hit Ctrl plus D and once again. And for this lower composition, hit S for scaling. And I will type here 325. And as you can see, we have this cool animation of our earth here in the finals also hit t for opacity or go here on this uh, little icon find opacity and let's type here maybe 15 or 20 percent and now this is looking awesome and cool here in the finals hit zero and this is looking cool now let's create text composition here in the finals hit on this little icon again this is gonna be for the width 3840 and for the height let's type here maybe 500 and then hit OK. Now hit on this little icon or Ctrl plus T on your keyboard and I will just type random text, maybe breaking news. As you can see, I'm using this Galleon bold font for the font size 250. Let's align it here to the center. If you can find align option, just go window and you will find align option here. Okay, now it's time to animate this text. Open up this little triangle, go on animate option, find here position okay and for the position let's go to around maybe minus 500 okay and now let's open this range selector one let's set up the first keyframe for the start parameter zero also for the offset let's create first keyframe and for the offset let's type here minus 100 here at zero frames and then go to around two seconds or so and for the start let's type here 100 and for the offset, let's also type 100. And as you can see, we have this type of animation. Now let's open this advanced option. And instead of this square shape, change here to ramp up for the is high and is low type 66. And as you can see, we have this cool animation of our breaking new text hit zero. And this is looking awesome. If you want to randomize order, just hit here on option, hit zero and now we have this type of animation. Now go here and set the playhead to around maybe one and a half seconds and go to animate option again, find tracking and let's go for the tracking amount, set up the first keyframe here maybe to one and a half seconds, somewhere around here, then go to around maybe here and let's type maybe 40. Okay, not 400, just 40. Okay, select both of the keyframes, go right click, keyframe assistance, easy ease or hit F9 on your keyboard. Now open up this graph editor and draw a curve like this. Okay, and now when we hit zero, we have this movement of our text and tracking animation. And this is looking awesome. Now let's just close this comp1 composition. Let's rename this one to text here in the project window and just drag and drop this text composition here inside our final composition. Hit zero for the preview and our breaking news intro is looking pretty much cool and really really awesome. Now let's create another text composition, hit on this uh, little icon again, this is gonna be text 02. For the width let's go to around 1200 and for the height let's go to around 800. Hit OK and for the text size instead of 250 let's go and type 
40. Also, if you have turned on this Fox Bolt option, just turn it off. Okay, hit Control plus T or go here on this uh, little icon again. I will turn on this titles and action save and draw rectangle like this. I already have my text copied. I will just hit Control plus V. And as you can see, this is looking awesome. Also, what you can do here in the paragraph, make sure that your alignment is centered. If you can't find paragraph option, just go window and you will find paragraph here. Okay, now set up the playhead to around zero frames, go in the facts and preset and let's type typewriter effect, drag and drop onto the text. And here let's also hit W to show all of the keyframes. And let's reposition this second one to around maybe six or seven seconds, like so. And now when we hit zero, our text is looking cool. Okay, for the next step, let's import this text O2 here inside the final composition. Okay, hit S for scaling. I will go to around 50%. Now hit V and just reposition this text here in the final composition. Also for the opacity hit T, I will go to around 60%. Also hit Ctrl plus D, reposition here again. Hit Ctrl plus D once again and go somewhere around here. I'm just showing you the way. You can of course play around with all of those options for the opacity and for the scaling and everything else. And now when we hit zero, we have this cool looking breaking text one and cool looking text two. What you can do also is to reposition texts like so. First text, second and third. And in our finals, this animation is looking cool and is looking awesome. Also, let's go and create adjustment layer. Go right click to create new adjustment layer. Let's rename this one to glow again. Go in the facts and preset, find glow effect, drag and drop onto the adjustment layer. And here basically you can also play around again with the options, glow radius, threshold, intensity, maybe intensity 0.2. Okay, play around until you're satisfied with your own final results. Also for the glow, hit T for the opacity, maybe to lower down to around 60% or 70 or so. Play around. Okay, close this effects control for now. Okay, now let's create another composition here. This is gonna be numbers. And for the width, let's type here 3840 by 2160. This is gonna be also 4K composition. Hit OK. And let's create solid layer. Go right click to create new solid layer. Rename this one to numbers. Hit OK. Go in the facts and preset and find numbers effect. Drag and drop onto the solid layer. Hit here also OK. And basically you can play around here with the colors, decimals and everything else. For the color let's change of course to white color. If you want to see more decimal colors just play around here with those options. And let's animate this value and offset option. Set up the playhead to zero frames. And let's set up the first keyframe and then go all the way to around six seconds. And let's type here just random number. Okay, also you can play around here with the size, but I will leave this one to play around by yourself. Okay, hit zero on your keyboard. And now, as you can see, we have those cool number animation. Now let's duplicate those uh, numbers for a few times. Hit control plus D. Now V and reposition here in the scene. And let's play around with the size. Hit Ctrl plus D once again, reposition the finals once again, once again, and until you're satisfied with your final results. Okay. And now let's close this effects control for now again, also numbers, and grab the numbers composition here from the project window and import it here in the finals. And as you can see, we have also cool looking numbers here in the finals. You can play around further, hit T for opacity, something like this. In every moment later on, you can go here and just reposition number solid layers. Okay, until you're satisfied with your own final results. Cool, something like this. Go here again in the finals. And as you can see, our numbers are applied again here. For the opacity, maybe go to around 25 or 30%. Hit zero and our animation is looking pretty much cool and really really awesome. One thing that we have also forgotten to do is to open up this earth plus elements composition and for this earth one and two 
hit T for the opacity and let's go from 100 to around 15% and when we go here in the finals for the full resolution you will also see this cool animation and our breaking news text is looking perfect. Okay, also you can go hit T again instead of maybe 20% you can play around maybe 10 or 15%. And when you hit zero our breaking news text is looking cool and is looking really really creative. Alright guys, uh, that was everything for today's tutorial, like always, I hope you learned something new, I have shown you this cool technique, and also you can make another adjustment layer, so you can create curves, light leaks, lens flares, and so many more. Also, if you are first time here at my channel, please hit that subscribe button, also you can leave me a like, and you can also leave me a comment down below in the comment section, you can write me what to do next if you have any suggestions, also take a look on my channel for your more great tutorials, and until next time, stay creative and bye bye!